barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I just want to double back and talk about this shit. Fellas, we got to stop acting like we ain't got shit to lose, man. You know, like, I see all these men falling prey to women. You, you understand? And, and, and it's been since I've been 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 6, 3, 2, 1 years old, man. You know what I mean? And I think at the end of the day, we got to... We got to start being honest and being smart with ourselves, man. You know, like, your last name and what you've developed at home is more important than any kind of pussy you can get in these streets. The joy that you get from unlocking your front door is more valuable than the finest woman piece of pussy nice ass you've ever had and that you may think you've ever had in your life. It ain't worth the peace you got at home, man. And I'm and, and I just want to be square biz with y'all motherfuckers. I know I got some 19-year-olds, some young college students, some young guys who just got into some money. They got their job. They making 80, 90, 150, 200 thousand dollars a year. You know what I mean? They or they driving down to 95 and they proving themselves to their neighborhood. But at the end of the day, the shit you building at home is way more potent way more powerful than anything you can conquer in those streets man i'm talking about women i'm talking about that negative shit that's gonna stop you from being great at home being great at home man uh, man i know this ain't no boxing video it ain't gonna do great numbers and a lot of y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna listen to this shit but being great at home like they say, home is where the heart is. Man, greatness is too, man. Greatness because it inspires you to do the right thing. And I'm not coming off as holier than thou. Let me tell you, I'm being real. You understand? But I'm trying to be as honest as I can because I'm f oh, 41 soon. You know, and I've uh, I've made those mistakes for you. So you don't have to go through that. All right? Ain't that what Jay-Z said? You don't have to go through that, all right? I done made the mistakes for you guys already, all right? You ain't got to prove your toughness to another fake-ass nigga. No, I'm telling you, that's not the way to go. You ain't got to fuck 30 girls a year to prove that you the nigga. You, you ain't got to go through that no more. I'm telling you, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth your joy. It ain't worth your happiness. And, and, and all my kings out there that's married and, got a, and or have a strong woman by your side, she stuck with you when you did five calendars. She stuck with you when you didn't have nothing and now you are a police officer or a uh, mechanic or you own your own barbershop. You selling hair, whatever you doing. Or she's fucking with you and you getting your money the illegal way, but it's legal. The hood way, you got your own barbershop, you got your own car wash, it's just don't have a business license attached to it. You're doing it that way and she's still fucking with you. And she got the 9 to 5 job and she's running everything through her credit. And she's still fucking with you? Come on, man. It's time for you to sit your ass down and fully understand what the hell is going on in life. Because that hood credit can't buy you a house. Her motherfucking great credit is going to be the one that help you get out. You may have the money. <laughs> but not in real life. That shit is a fantasy world, right? You understand what I'm saying? And I, I just want you guys to fully understand and fully grasp it, all right? That woman that's holding you down through your five years in prison, through your four years of undergrad, through your four, through your couple years of um of a trade school or learning how to drive a truck, going through barber cosmetology school, learning how to be a barber. She holding you down and y'all had a son already and she knew you wasn't the greatest man you can be But she still whispered in your son's ear. You have a great father She's still fucking with you and you in them streets putting your life in danger and Going back to jail for 15 to 20 years now because you got priors or you saw this fine This fine beautiful woman walking down the street and you jeopardizing You jeopardizing that shit for a piece of ass? Come on, man. I've made those mistakes already, and I'm telling y'all motherfuckers, it ain't worth it. All right? It ain't worth it. Your peace at home and you building peace at home is far greater 
than any hood accomplishment you can accomplish. And I'm, and I'm talking about that hood shit we go through. You know what I mean? Friday night playing dominoes with your niggas. You know what I mean? Outside, you're getting loud. Four women walk by and you and you want to conquer those four women. Or nigga walking by selling weed. and Or you want to stick a nigga up who's trying to hustle. Man, listen. Listen. Bear down, nigga. Bear down. All right. Bear down and bet on yourself and believe in that woman that believes in you. All right, who gives a fuck if, if, if you see a fine, nigga, let me tell you this. We all gonna see a better car, bigger house, and a bigger ass. All right, we all gonna see that. It ain't, no, one, no one on earth is immune to that, all right? I'm telling you, I, I know it. I'm 40, be 41 soon, I'm 41 years old. I've, you know what I mean? Man. Nigga, you're not going to hit a home run every time, okay? You're going to need someone when you hit a double to hit a single behind you to bring your ass home. And then you hit a double and you bring her ass home. And then y'all going to hit a home. Somebody's going to hit a home run eventually. You understand what I'm saying? But say you guys get, say you hit a single and she, she hit a single. You're going to have to bring someone on your team to hit a single to bring one of y'all home. And how you bit that home is character. Is, is is your reputation that precedes you. They may trust your woman, but they may not trust you. It may be $200 on a Friday night, right? You may need $200 to pay an electricity bill, or you may need to borrow 10,000 extra dollars to put down on a home. You understand what I'm saying? So stop that dumb shit, that bullshit, that nigga shit that we do on Friday nights, whatever night it may be, man. Just cut the bullshit out. You are a king, man. It is king shit going home on Friday night and unlocking the door that you pay bills in and you got a beautiful woman and two kids in the bedroom sleep or preparing for dinner waiting on daddy to come home. That is beautiful shit. That is king shit. That is cloth talk, real time, real nigga shit. All right? And, and I'm getting emotional about this shit because, you know, I went from Bill Cosby to Kanye West and I just talked about Tank Davis. So I'm so I'm getting emotional about this shit. Yes, I'm emotional. I'm emotional about everything I like in, in my life. I'm I'm literally emotional about everything. I, I, I just more often than not choose the right emotion to to pull from. Thank heavens for that. But at the end of the day, don't fall prey, man. Come on, y'all. Come on. Alright? It's time, it's time, it's time. Like they say it's time for Dodger baseball. You know what I mean, Vince Scully? It's time for you to man up, man. And, and you got so many fucking channels on YouTube that um, that will inspire you to be a man. I'm not the only channel. I'm not the only man. I'm not the only... I, I, I did it one way, and it worked for me. You got other YouTube channels that did it the other way, and they're great for it. And, and, and you need to thank them brothers. I don't care if you subscribe to a Mexican channel. I mean, I, most of my channels are black channels I subscribe to. Or black, black men leading channels. Or black women leading their channels. But I don't give a fuck. Wherever you need to find inspiration from to do it the right way. Nigga, go find it. Alright? Because it's... I, I'm... You know, these stories and shit that I'm... That I, I, I've been reading. I haven't cut my TV on. Someone asked me, I got sent a text today, said, thank God we didn't go to Alabama this week because of the hurricane. I didn't know Alabama was in the um, thing of the hurricane. I just knew Hurricane Michael, and I says, let me check some stock. Let me work on some stock. Where is it going? I didn't know exactly what states it was going to hit, but I just knew they said it was a Category 4. I was like, I need to make some money on this shit. But at the end of the day, man, I just want us to fully grasp and understand Nigga, you had a chance to make history. You got a chance to keep that capital letter on the first letter of your last name, nigga. Like, for real. You got you got a chance to raise a son or raise a daughter the way you're supposed to raise. The way you, excuse me. The way you want to raise that son or daughter. All right? And if you're not with the woman because you fucked up, do the right thing by your child, man. Do the right thing by your child. Please, please do the right thing by your child, all right? Because 
If you are wrong, admit that you're wrong. All right, and move forward. And I don't give a fuck. No woman should keep you from seeing your child. No woman. I don't care what you got to do. I don't care what you got to do. No woman should keep you from seeing it. And I know I'm going off on a tangent. And this video probably should go on Patreon. And I think YouTube is on flag this shit. So I'm going to leave this up for like an hour, two hours. And throw it on my Patreon. Or put it on private. So you got like two or three hours to watch this video. But I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at how the perception of black men in America today. Just because... People in the UK, people in London, people in Asia, they right now they only know of Kanye West and Bill Cosby. And, and and that's how they view black men in America. You know, that's how they view black men for the most part worldwide. You know, and I just I'm I get emails and I get DMs every day. I get 40, 50 DMs a day talking to y'all and having conversations with y'all and I enjoy every bit of it and at the end of the day it's always come down to personal accountability when we're talking about real issues if you guys aren't sending me boxing content that I may have missed uh, and, I, and I thank you for the in interaction I love the interaction um, but I think it's time man man let's go man it's it's time it's whoa shit made a left turn motherfucker going 55 miles an hour but um it's time y'all it's time it's time it's time it's time nothing like they say nothing is worth your freedom as it relates to doing nigga shit nothing is worth your woman man that got you that got you because let let me tell you uh, that's a whole nother video but, um, man, just listen to me. You got niggas that's already made the mistakes for you. And you and, and, and you going to attempt to reinvent the wheel and think you can get away with it. You're going to get away with it once or twice, maybe three times, possibly four times. Slim chance at five. But that's six time. Fifteen to life. Fifteen to twenty-five calendars. 15 to 25 missed birthdays of your fucking son of your fucking daughter for a piece of ass or, or to prove to another nigga that you a real nigga no no nigga, let me tell you every man in prison every man in prison wishes he can unlock the door of a home that he's paying his bills on he got two beautiful kids three beautiful kids four beautiful kids and a beautiful woman waiting on him at the dinner table Waiting on them to hit play because they TiVo, um, uh, whatever their favorite show is, um, Napoli Ever After, you know what I mean, <laughs> or Jeopardy, you know what I mean, or when I was a kid, uh, Video Soul, you know what I mean, or Thursday Night Cosby Show. I don't know what people watch now that that galvanizes the family, but at the end of the day, man, we gotta have these, man. I know. We have fun disagreeing on this boxing shit, but this manhood shit, we there's no disagreement. There I don't give I don't care if you dislike this video. You agree with my sentiment. So I don't give a fuck if you dislike or like this video. We all can agree we all want to be men. We all want <laughs> we all want to lead by example. We all want to be personable, personally accountable. And we got bitch niggas out there that don't stand for shit. Leave them niggas alone. I talked about that in the last video. Those are low hanging fruit. Those are low energy places. Those are low frequency places, man. Leave that shit alone. All right? I'm just being real G and real 100 with you guys. It's time. All right? All right? Love that woman. Period. Love that woman. All right? It ain't. When you, <laughs> y'all, all the men who got a real woman by their side and love they, uh, uh, like the old saying, love you through your stinking draws, y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Ain't nothing getting in between, y'all. She may not be the finest woman you ever dated. She may not have the fattest ass you ever dated. She might not have the best 
pussy you've ever had. She may not give the best head you've ever received, but the composite of her, she's and 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 the composite of her makes her the greatest woman she you've ever had. The total of her, man, you better, you better get with it. You better get with it. You better get it with it, little Michael. You better get with it, little Jose. Miguel, Sean. I'm talking about a little in terms of mentally, not in terms of your size and your stature and how much money and how much success you have. All right? All right? So, man, just love that woman, man. Love that woman. She already loves you. All right? She loves you because she saw you through. She sees she see you beyond the pain that you're going through. She sees your fullest potential. She sees the God in you. The woman that is in love with you, she sees the God in you. And you know why she sees the God in you? Because she wants to procreate with you. Alright? And when a woman wants to procreate with you from a honest and genuine perspective, she sees the God in you. That seed you create is a God, is a king, is a queen you create. Nothing short, nothing less. Remember, we're moonlighting as human beings we're spiritual beings moonlighting as human beings don't forget that don't ever forget that all right so that one woman you up man i'm telling you that one woman look i'm looking at this shit right now look walking across the street hugging and embracing one another man that's that's some beautiful shit man look holding hands and shit they in love look at this shit look man that's some <laughs> poetic justice right downtown going to get some more supplies to do some more work you know what I mean? But, man, and y'all get my sentiment, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to subscribe. But this video is only going to be up for an hour or two hours, and it's going to on to my Patreon because I already know it's going to get flagged. All these videos that I do like this gets flagged by YouTube. So, anyways, man, Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to subscribe. But join my Patreon page. This is this will be on my Patreon page by the night because you may want to rewatch this video at some point. So barbershop conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I thank you. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll holla.